In this video, I'm going to be talking about some new news from OpenAI that was just mentioned probably a day ago, maybe two days ago. And also how I will be integrating some of those features when they become available into this other program that I talked about in another video. This is the flow chart for the AI bot program where you can store your PDF data into your own vector store database and talk to the open API using the Langchain framework. And then I use render.com to host it. So when these new open AI features become available, as I have time, I will be integrating them into this program. And so this is the open AI blog site. And here they're mentioning new ways to manage your data in chat GPT. Chat GPT users can now turn off chat history, allowing you to choose which conversations can be used to train our models. So I think that's a really important feature that they're going to be enabling. And so here, April 25th is when this was reported on their website. And they said here they've introduced the ability to turn off chat history in chat GPT. Conversations that are started when chat history is disabled won't be used to train and improve their models and won't appear in the history sidebar. These controls, which are rolling out to all users starting today, can be found in the chat GPT settings and can be changed at any time. We hope this provides an easier way to manage your data than our existing opt-out process. When chat history is disabled, we will retain new conversations for 30 days and review them only when needed to monitor for abuse before permanently deleting. And so here is an illustration of how to disable history in chat and I'll go ahead and replay the video so they're clicking on settings turning off chat history and training in the settings and then you can see up here in the upper left that it's off so I think this is a really great feature for data privacy and so forth so that's one really important thing. And the next thing they mentioned here is that they are working on a new chat GPT business subscription for professionals who need more control over their data, as well as enterprises seeking to manage their end users. Chat GPT business will follow our API's data usage policies. And we can take a look at that which means that end users data won't be used to train our models by default. We plan to make chat GPT business available in the coming months. And so I will be keeping an eye on this and plan to subscribe and start integrating those types of features into the programs that I've showed in my most recent videos. Finally, a new export option in settings makes it much easier to export your chat GPT data and understand what information chat GPT stores. You'll receive a file with your conversations and all other relevant data in email. So that's, I think, a really great feature also. And so that's really it as far as the latest news about chat GPT and this new chat GPT business that they're planning or working on. So hopefully that helps enlighten you about some things if you weren't aware about these. So here was the API data usage policies. I won't go through it in detail. It's pretty long. But if you're interested, you should read through this to understand more about their data usage and 
data retention policies. And also I did a search initially in Google for OpenAI Business Chat GPT just to see what's being said about it as of the making of this video. So we can see like right here, Computer World, Chat GPT learns to forget, OpenAI implements data privacy controls. The Seattle Times, OpenAI offers new privacy options for Chat GPT. And TechCrunch, they're talking about it. So there is some mention of it in the Google search results. Well, with that said, I appreciate you watching the video and I will talk to you soon in another video. Thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.